All right, we're going to mute everyone. Okay, y'all are muted, and uh, thank you for joining us. We're, we're running just a few minutes late here, but Jenny finished up her very last mindset call, which was definitely well worth the 12 weeks, and we just wanted to say thank you guys for showing up consistently late. I know on the East late. Coast, this is They're very late. showing up late. We're no, having to do the meeting. This call late. has been late yeah. uh, every single week for, for 12 weeks, so next week, we're back on our normal schedule at um, the seven o'clock central time slot, eight o'clock Eastern for the elevation call. So reach out to your team, uh, teams, individuals. Let's get back into the flow of our elevation call, which we've done for years at seven uh, central. Um, I really think that some people fell out of this call. We just look at the numbers uh, in part because, you know, 12 weeks of Jenny's call at this time and people weren't signed up for that. And so some of the people that I would consider maybe newer or not quite as committed who were really gaining and enjoying and, and um, benefiting from this call, because that was such a, a commitment with Jenny, they just kind of fell out and that can easily happen. So, you know, what I would say to all of you for your team, your people, reach out to them, get them back on this seven o'clock call. Uh, we're going to be consistent with it. Um, I think even uh, Christmas and New Year's is on like a Saturday this year. Is it okay? I think so. Sunday night, uh, you know, maybe on the first. I don't know what we'll do, but anyway. Well, I also want to just kind of announce that um, I did book a guest speaker for the twenty seventh of November. That is Jenny Lesby, and she's going to talk about what we've just been studying for twelve weeks. How do we integrate that with glow? But integrating it with glow. With glow and creating volume that. specifically with that program. So mm -hmm. you guys definitely don't want to miss that. That's not next Sunday, but the following Sunday. So jumping in, um, I want to welcome Connie Lytle, who's um, our guest on the call tonight. She's a new friend of mine, old friend of Hal's here in Northwest Arkansas. And uh, we want to keep her. We, we absolutely love her. Uh, Connie is an uh, amazing wellness person, and uh, she's also a Lululemon expert. That's kind of where I met her. So Connie, th thank you for being willing to be on our call. She has absolutely had a voracious appetite toward every video, everything that we have, have sent her, uh, doing the due diligence on GLOW and this company. So Connie, we want you to, to be a part of us. You know, she is a good example of someone who says, if I believe in something, I'm going to share it with people. And it's, and it's very natural for her. Um, and so, you know, she is one of those people, like many of us have experienced, uh, really want to try the product, see what it does for them, have a personal uh, use experience. And, um, you know, that's great. And that's what a lot of people, um, that's what a lot of people, where a lot of people start and end up impacting other people's lives eventually. So anyway, let's move on. So we're going to stop <clears throat> because last week we also incorporated a focus on the retail element of Zelise. And so I'm going to have Hal talk about two different top 25 lists. Number yeah, one, the one, enrollments, people who are actually building their team through wholesale, bronze, silver, and gold. Who do we have? Building teams of people who are product users, individuals, and also people who are building teams themselves. Right. That's the leaderboard that has to do with new enrollments for the week and for the month. And, you know, our team, Team Elevation, for the last month after month after month after month, have had anywhere typically from five or six up to 10, and oftentimes a number of people in the top 10 in that enrollment category in all of Zelis globally. And, of course, we're kind of competing with Latin America, where Stephen is right now. Um, but, it, it, you know, for you as a team and for us individually, because we're continuing to build our business New people who come in on board to buy wholesale or to join us in building and, and sharing the business is just the kind of key component to continued growth. Um, so what's really odd for us is when we look at the leaderboard, we don't see many people on the leaderboard from our team for the last couple of weeks. But y'all are coming on and uh, we're hearing some stories uh, of people who have people uh, getting enrolled and they've even run into some glitches. Uh, in enrollments. And so that may be part of it. We guess even for Lisa and I, we ran into a glitch or two yeah. with the new enrollment, but that's going to get fixed. Anyway, so top enroller, uh, the, uh, the the one and only Ed Keller is at number 13 down in Florida. I hope he's got that queen mattress in at his place there. So that when we come down there, we got a place to, 
another place to stay. But Ed, congratulations. Thank You're thank a top you. enroller. Ed, how'd you do it? Give us some tips. Yeah, what'd you do, Ed? Oh, this was a fun, easy one. I spent four days with a couple in their RV and my RV. And so I was just planting seeds for a couple of days. And um, and then she was very interested. And I could tell her she was in the computer doing some looking in that. And then she tried to enroll on her own and the uh, iPad wouldn't do a pop-up. So I gave her my computer th this morning and she enrolled. And, uh, and when I mentioned yesterday, the um, uh, Ambien, that was a that was a home run right there. She said, "I've been on Ambien for years. I'm going to enroll no matter what because I'm going to make it work." So this morning I said, uh, "Well, uh, you, know, how did you enroll?" And she said, "Shh, I don't want my husband to know you." And because uh, she wanted to learn more about it, and I said, "What'd you enroll in?" She said, "I went ahead. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it right." So I enrolled, enrolled as gold. So yay! That's and that's smart this month, especially because. You know, free shipping for the whole year this month when yeah. you enroll at gold. So it's the is that smart. gold anything or gold just for glow? Gold glow. Gold glow. Yeah. So I don't yeah. know what they came in at, but anyway. Hey Ed, what do you mean with the Ambien story? Well, you know, I was on Ambien for 14 years and um I tried a lot of different things to get off of it. And doing dream only at C B D and G and Dream, I was able to get off of Ambien in 14 days. And when I told her the story, uh, she said, man, I've been wanting to do this for a long, long, long time. I'm going to enroll no matter what, because I'm going to give that a try. That's great. That is awesome. That's that's a great story, Ed. I mean, that really is. Thank you I mean, for it, it's so true. And it's still extremely true right now. I just don't even need anything. Just sleep like a baby. I'm good. Well, we're extremely proud of you, Ed. So thank, thank you. you for sharing your success with us. A little bite of an elephant at a time, right? That's right. We're going to talk about that. That's, that's a great right. point. That's just action. So tonight, uh, because we have heard and we have seen with um, the launch of the Glow product, and we have been um, really encouraging people to find, find people in their community or friends or relatives that know that have a retail opportunity. And that can be anyone from a doctor, dinner's, dental, uh, dental office, um, to a store, to a health food store, to having, you know, massage business, um, salons, all kinds of things where there's a retail opportunity. And we've been encouraging you, uh, many of you don't have that yourself, but you know people that do. Um, and then also we have seen a, a, a kind of a increase in people engaging in things we've kind of already talked a little bit tonight uh, on Jenny's call about people doing um, uh, what are they called home shows and not home shows vendor events. vendor events vendor events where you can have some product available kind of on a retail as well as educational and opportunity for people to enroll at wholesale so we're going to start recognizing at least from time to time uh, the top retail, uh, leaderboard. So Zelise has um, uh, the the, the uh, enrollment leaderboard, and they also have the retail. And so we have three people on our team um, this at this time during the month. So at number twenty three, Ted Jacobus in Florida, and he's a vendor guy. He's often talking about that. We're really proud of him. Uh, he's, I hope he's on the call tonight. But anyway, he's at number twenty three. And then I didn't recognize the name of this, but I know who it is. It's Dr. Susan Welch. Uh, I, what is it called? Wright Parkway Dental. Is that right? <clears throat> so anyway, that's number 10 uh, in Florida again. And then number nine, Marilee Reeves in Georgia. Uh, again, uh, you know, Ted doesn't have an outlet, but he's got a, he's making one. Right. Uh, Dr. Welch and Marilee do have places where they have patients coming in that they can recommend this. Yeah, and Mary uh, Lee, uh, she's amazing. Some someday I'll have her on on the call, but she's a nurse practitioner in Georgia, who has from day one been a huge advocate of CBD. She has a private practice and uh, she sells uh, CBD to her patients. She has also done the HCG diet. Just you know, she, she wouldn't mind me me telling you that, and and really wants to use Glow in conjunction with that. So that's kind of why she's kind of ramping up her retail. So. You know, you guys, you might not know a nurse practitioner, 
but go meet one, go introduce yourself, ask for referrals. This is just kind of why we explain, you know, Ted um, is not a health professional. He's doing vendor events, but, you know, Dr. Susan Welch, I just want her to, you know, she and Brian, very consistent leaders on our team who breathe into our team, Susan and Brian, we talked just briefly last time about your retail. Can you give us uh, some tips on how to talk to a dentist or someone like or a someone dentist. like a dentist? Guys, I'm about to die. So um, you know, it, part of the challenge that I have, even with my colleagues in town, is um, they don't really know. Jackson. Jackson. They don't really Jackson. know about Jackson. the. He's back there on that virtual game, isn't he? He's, okay. he's having a party. Um, yeah. They don't really know about the endocannabinoid system. So I think part of the challenge when you speak to medical professionals is to to ask that question. Have you heard about the endocannabinoid system? Um, because they've all heard about CBD for the most part, because it's everywhere in banners by the gas stations, you know, um, that type of thing. They, they're familiar with the acronym, but they're not familiar with the system of the human body. And I think that's part of the challenge in approaching your naturopathic doctors, your nurse practitioners, your um, more of a, a osteopathic clinicians, chiropractors, um, doctors of physical therapy. Those, um, those professionals tend to be in the medical community tend to be a little more, um, I guess, open-minded about things outside the, our conventional education process. So um, I, I agree sometimes working with your actual medical doctor, um, they've got so many things on their plate in their own practices that um, just giving them a flyer about um, the ECS, uh, something real quick, real simple, um, because they don't have a lot of time to read it. So just keep those things in mind when you're approaching healthcare professionals and folks that are out there, even your massage therapist at um, some of these massage envy places, things like that, that are, are more chain based. But, um, you know, definitely it just, when you ask questions, right, Lisa, you just keep asking people questions and find out what their interests are and um, where they are struggling in their life uh, aches and pains, uh, mental clarity, all those different things. Just keep asking questions and you'll, you'll be able to identify perhaps how the um, product line can help them. Awesome. Thank you for that. Brian, anything you want to add? I just go hunting right now. I let her do all that part. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I just saw a picture of your dad and his deer. So just wanted to make sure. Um, Dr. Stephen, Jenny, Todd, you guys uh, are amazing resources for us with sleep issues. Um, Dr. Todd, anything that you can add to that? Well, I, I think Susan said it uh, uh, really the way it, it is, you know, that uh, doctors are busy, have lots on their plate. And, and I think that people that uh, just mention it to them and, and see what their interest is, they don't understand it. Nobody understands it. We just did the talk like, you know, and it, they they had no it was like I said deer in the headlights Brian would know what I'm talking about with that but <laughs> it's it's it really is uh, you just got to put the word out to people and don't be don't be and be confident about it when you do it you know I don't speak to these doctors uh, in my thing to to uh, I, I don't shy away from anything with it I just get right up with them and, and go toe to toe with them because I think they need to know and I think that's why uh, I think that's why people on this call just need, their doctors do need to know whether whether they take it or don't take it, they just need to know this is for the best, uh, better health of their, of their patients and their families. And so, they don't know if you don't say you anything. You don't say anything, they don't know, and they're not gonna know. So to that point, I wanna remind everyone that though each of us have our own business, Zelise calls us ambassadors for a reason. Um, we have stories to share. We have education to give in, in, in small little bits. Uh, so just being an ambassador of your story with Zelise, your story with Zelise. Just this last week, um, Lisa and I had two different people who had recently started using uh, our globe. Well, no, CBD. CBD, CBG, and then I, I, I yeah, CBD, CBG who went back and they were in bad shape. I mean, like really bad shape. And they went back to their doctors uh, on scheduled appointments. Their doctors did just regular testing 
Um, one in particular, I'm thinking with his A1Cs, who was over 11 and he was having to pay for some medication um, out of pocket because his insurance would not pay for it uh, until he got under, uh, uh, was it nine, a, a, nine. a nine? And so just three weeks on CBD, CBG, uh, he went back to his doctor and was tested, uh, regular testing, and was at a 7.5 or something. So it went sort of oh, over wow. 11. Wow. So, so, and his doctor is just looking at him saying, what, I mean, couldn't, he said he was just shocked. And this is a guy who's not an ambassador. This is just a customer of ours who just recently started. So he, just his story kind of bum fuzzled or, you know, confused the doctor. And he was like, what? And that's we ha when we see that a lot. So and hear those stories. So just remember that when you share your Zali story, when you share your product story with people, not with the intention of getting them to sign up, but just letting people know that there's something that can impact people's lives and it impact your life. If it happens to be your doctor, your dentist or whatever, um, they may just look at you like, I can't believe that. That's OK. That's one story they've heard, and it could potentially uh, change somebody else's life down the road. Um, of course, it could be something for you to follow up with, could be a continued story. Um, like Ed used the word seed planting. Um, I think it's very interesting that we still have a tendency to try to want to plant a seed today, water it tomorrow, and pull fruit off of it the next day. That's not how life works. You know, in, in most cases, we plant the seed, we water it, we nurture it, we follow up with it, we, we, we tend it. It's one of my favorite words, tending, um, in which most people don't know what tending is, but taking care of, moving forward, being patient, follow up, um, continual touches um, with information um, and story sharing. I mean, I had that opportunity today with people who were asking me about my Jeep. And, you know, <clears throat> there was a time I would have told them the whole sinking story all at once. I don't do that anymore. I give them just a little bit, you know, and they come back with more questions and it keeps them in the game instead of them running from me when they see me because I've given them too much information. And they're like, oh, I don't want to hear about that, you know. So um, anyway. So I want to just summarize, <clears throat> guys, just the one takeaway that I want you to think about on this call. Ed said it eating an elephant one bite at a time. What I was thinking about for this call is base hits versus home runs. And um, there's a great example, and I'm gonna summarize this, but I want uh, Mary Ellen Ziliak and Connie Grease uh, to come on the line to talk about what happened in Connie's business this past week. Uh, Mary Ellen, if you're there. Yes, I'm here. Um, yeah, I'll get the ball rolling. I am so proud of what Connie did this week. She totally stepped out of her comfort zone and had her first glow party, her first at home social, whatever you want to call it. We called it a glow party because she had the theme rocking, but she did so good. And I know her first thought was, what if nobody shows up? And that's going to happen sometimes. It's happened to me. I think it's happened to most of us. You put all this work into it, you have people confirmed, and it's a possibility zero will show up. But Connie did the work. She did exactly what I suggested, which I really appreciated because it's like, well, I don't have the perfect answer, but I shared with her the four-step invite that I use. And even though it was uncomfortable, she did it. And she ended up having 10 people, six of whom were new uh, invites guests that she got herself. Out of those six, she in, is enrolling one gold glow. One took an app home to decide for sure she's going to enroll gold. She's got a bronze and two people bought glow product to start. So that's five out of six. So she rocked it. So I, I just could not be prouder. And she totally stepped out of the zone and made it work. That's awesome. Great report. Well, Mary Are we Ellen, get to hear from her. I, um, I want to come back to you. I want to hear about your four step intro, but I want Connie Grease, that cell phone guru, uh, <laughs> with, her, with her smartphone. Uh, Connie, I want you to come on. Tell us so about this. A lot this. of you don't know that Connie didn't even have, know what a smartphone was uh, before she got into Zelise. 
I she did. It. She didn't know how to use one. <laughs> Connie, speak up for yourself because how's how's <laughs> saying untruths? Yeah, well, this is I'm still wearing my glow. <laughs> I, I love see it. your it looks glow. Like a halo. <laughs> As you entered, you had to put your glow on in preparation. So that awesome. it was a blast. We had cookies and punch and just really good questions were asked, a lot of great information. And it just it was so smooth that everybody was. I guess we just kind of wowed them and they thought we have to have this. So we did. That is an well, awesome outcome. Congratulations to you. And Thank congratulations you. to you, Mary Ellen, for, you know, nurturing a team Thank member you. into uh, her self-development, her expansion of her business. Um, and this is not the first thing she's done. Connie's been on the leaderboard before. Um, and so, but for her to host her mm -hmm. own event, at her place with your help, your mentoring um, and stepping out her out of her comfort zone. But I got to tell you from a distance on Facebook, it looked like you were a pro. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't even matter. You don't need to look like a pro to do it, but it looked great. Yeah, wow. I mean, just the enthusiasm, it was a really neat thing for us to see. It was a lot of fun. We really had a good time. Well, and Connie, that's just a great example of how <laughs> you can inject energy into your own business, it would have been just as easy for you to say, you know what, that, that kind of freaks me out a little bit to think about hosting people in my house. You know, you have to clean up, I have to go get, I would have come for those glow cookies. I'm yeah, just those saying. glow cookies look cool, that's for sure. Donut bank glow cookies. I think everyone's nodding that they were all really impressed with those glow cookies, but it was a base hit, Connie. And you had great coaching from Mary Ellen. I'm gonna come back to her because Mary Ellen, I think everybody would love to hear about your four-step invite. Sure. Yeah. Uh, the four step invite is something I, I learned with trial and error after I had the zero show up for one of my parties. It's like, I got, I got to improve on this. But what I found out, I, I love flyers. I like designing them, but if you think you're going to send out a flyer and they will come, your mistake and that's not going to happen. It's just one step. So what I shared with Connie is what I do. Uh, when I have a program booked, and as soon as you won, you better book the next one. You have to always have one in the hopper. But the first thing I do is a personal invite. If I see the person, I invite them in person. If not, I call them because it's true. When they hear your voice, they know you believe you're talking from the heart and you're passionate about it. <laughs> so that's the first step. It has to be your voice invite. Then I end that conversation with, I will text you a flyer with the information. So I follow up the invite with a text flyer, or you can just say Saturday, 10 o'clock, my place. Then if I've not heard back from them, I send the invites out. Normally two weeks is the sweet spot. If I've not heard back by a week, I send a text and say, hey, I'm taking a final head count. Should I save you a seat? Simple, no pressure, but that's the third step. Regardless of who it is, the day before the event, I send a courtesy reminder, kind of like you get from the dentist office. You know, oh, we're, we're looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. I send the text saying to the ones who have confirmed, um, excited about our glow party in the morning look forward to seeing you at 10. it's just a reminder so i do all four of those because people forget they forgot they don't know where they got it where they wrote it down so it's just a consistent feed without a lot of pressure and i find i get my best confirmations and show ups if i do those four steps so that's what works for me. Connie looked at me like I had two heads like, what? Uh, but she did it and, and gave it a chance and she rocked it. And the other thing that I told her, I was kind of a hard nose. She was saying, oh my gosh, I called so-and-so and so-and-so and so-and-so. And, -so and, -so and they all said no. I said, I won't waste time talking about no's. Tell me who else you're inviting. <laughs> Tell me how many yeses you've got. We are not wasting time and energy on no's. And we didn't. And she finally like, oh, well, 
into that. And we talked about who else to invite and how many yeses. And she ended up with six. So she did it, even though she wasn't sure about it, she did it. Well, and Mary Ellen, uh, you have been the absolute queen of events. You have done such consistent work in Evansville, Indiana. Karen Hale is clapping louder than anyone, which we love that. Because, you know, it's the only thing better than your own success is seeing your team members. hundred percent. Right, that Angela right Noble? On. Your own success is one thing, but the su success of your team members um, is so much better. It is so much better. But that's, it's, it's Mary sweeter. Ellen, your consistency yeah. is, um, is admirable. And, um, hey, mate, we might have a few more people at our glow parties using Mary Ellen's four-step invite. I know, we need to start invite. using that four-step invite. I love it, sure. Mary Ellen. That's great tips for everyone. So, and I also really like the whole attitude of not focusing on the nose, not even giving it much attention. We're not going to talk about the nose. Let's talk about the noses that you know, other than the nose that you've already got. What are the, no, you know, instead of nose, mm -hmm. let's talk about noses still left in the hopper that you can contact. Who else do you know? So anyway, that's great. Yeah. Great mindset. Yeah. Absolutely. And so, so that was a great example, Connie, of a base hit. A glow party is within everyone's reach. We can all find a place. It doesn't have to be your own house. You can do a restaurant. You can do, um, you know, a, a party room somewhere. But mm -hmm. a glow party is a base hit. And you can find that hey, Connie's found a couple golds, which is amazing. You just never know. So when you find people who um, typically, if they come in at gold, they have the they have the thought that they have other people they want to share this with mm -hmm. for multiple reasons. Typically, it's because they know people who could benefit from it. Or they're already thinking, you know, this might be a business model I can work with. Right. Um, and so every time we talk about um, talking to people, inviting people to an event, whatever it is, we have two purposes in mind. Our first purpose is to serve those people's needs and people beyond them. What is it that we might be able to impact in other people's lives? Some people have major, major things that it impacts others. It's a better quality of life, not overwhelming, but it does impact them. But what's really cool is that most people that are even really super healthy, fit, whatever, they know people in their lives that are not and who want to be. So again, it is the carrying forward of better health. Um, it could be life changing. But then at the same time, we're building our business. This is everyone who's on this call is on this call because they want to generate uh, they don't not only want to impact other people's lives, but they want to generate income and to different levels. It might be a thousand dollars a month. It might be ten thousand. Might be a hundred thousand a month. Um, all possible with the lease. So whatever the financial business goal is, we have that in mind as well. Also, I wanted to give another example of a base hit, and that is really in a, in a vendor show. Uh, Hal and I are going to like do one of our We're first ones one in December in with weeks. Pat Poole here in Arkansas. We're excited about that. But <clears throat> Christina Durham and Angela Noble did a vendor show uh, just recently. Angela, I don't know if Chris, Christina's on. Do you, do you want to tell us just a few? Uh, uh, you're 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 muted, Angela. There you go. Can you hear me? I can hear you now. Well, Kristen, Christina has hit the ground running. I mean, this is her third. Saturday was her third event in, I think, a week. And she's brand new. And she's brand new. She's, she came in as a gold, and she, uh, I mean, she's so excited, just on, on top of it. And I, I don't know the final numbers, but she sold, like, seven kits, I think, for Christine, are you on? I don't think she's on. I don't see her. I see her. Uh, but I think it was seven on this, this past weekend and she was not in a good spot they had sold out of the booths on the inside so saturday was the coldest day we have had and she was outside and she did have a tent and um but it was her it was it was awesome she was at the very last one and you had to go around to even see her but she made the best of it and she she has done all kinds of things to make, get her booth in place but she sold i think seven Saturday and I think there were like three or four at one of the one was the um VA not the VA yeah the veterans yeah the VA I think it's where the other one was and then another one was the uh, women's a bunch of women's women's night out in Princeton Indiana 
and they uh, and she got I think ten or twelve people that are interested in the product. So she's got she's got a contact list this high of people that are interested in, and, and I want to get back to her. I don't know the final numbers, but it was pretty awesome. I was really proud of her. I was and I was really on her own, that a whole lot of help for me. I just showed up. Well, and she did some Facebook lives. That's oh, kind of how I, I saw what she was doing. And uh, I was just impressed with how quickly that she's been able to get into motion with these vendor fairs and vendor exhibits, which, you know, I don't know how you find them, but I, I was just really, really impressed. So with you that. got to presidential without doing these. I never did yeah, one. You just shared with individuals. So again, these are great. We're going to do one here in a couple of weeks because we got an invite to do one. And we was like, you know, does that work for us? uh yeah let's do it let's try it it sounds like fun and i will tell you that the glow product is honestly one of the funnest things like this i mean it got us so excited we're gonna have, do they know we're getting a jeep a new jeep not yet oh well, well anyway we'll, we'll wait we'll wait and tell them later anyway um we're just having fun with this thing and um you know whether it's there's a good question here on your events your glow parties uh do you share the product well yes uh you know we do we introduce the products or do you just have present and have snacks and have fun? Yeah, we do that too. So, you know, we are intentional um, with, uh, with each event. We know what we're going to do. You, you all know what you're doing. Uh, Connie Grease knew what she wanted to do that night. We had a little, let me, let me ask mm -hmm. Connie, um, what did you guys do in terms of content of the presentation? Content of the presentation. Well, I mostly just explaining after they knew what the product was, explaining the packages and the benefit of the free shipping. Um, that was a win-win right there. Okay, so, so you kind of, you, did you use the uh, business overview or did you just talk, uh, use talking points? No, business overview, we did have okay. the slides. So it started from the very beginning and now, ta -da 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 -da, glow, you know? That's great. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. That, if I could, yeah, please, if Mary. If I could throw in, we did the first five or six slides of the basic presentation for the release, and then we switched to the GLOW presentation, which is a short, more scientific one, but it ends with the uh, enrollment packs. So we gotcha. did a combo and just switched over and divided and conquered. Awesome. And we've done that in one-on-ones and smaller groups, and, mm -hmm. and other people have as well. Right. Um, you know, you fit you learn to fit your message to the needs of your audience. And, um, you know, so it just takes practice and so forth. So. so also shout out to Ted. I know he did a vendor fair and Sherry Desern, who has done several vendor fairs. So thanks to all of you guys for getting the word out, doing those base <laughs> hits. You know, some other examples, and we're not going to go into great detail on this tonight, but many of you guys have heard Jenny Lesby talk about the hope, the health, hope, and lifestyle, what she calls the ATM page. If you don't know what I'm talking about, we need to make sure that you're a member of Team Integrity. You can watch their video, but it is a group Facebook page specifically for the purpose of validating GLOW. And some people are much more savvy about social media. Um, it, it really, it, it doesn't cost money. You don't have to buy Facebook ads or anything like that, but you can invite your prospects to take a look at our Facebook page, you can tag them on the page um, and then you can actually follow up with them so that they get multiple points of validation from other leaders on the team. So that is um, Jenny and Tony's team integrity. And it's called what again? Health, hope and lifestyle. Health, hope and lifestyle. It has one purpose. The health, hope and lifestyle has one purpose. And that is for all of us collaboratively to post positive um, stories testimonials. and testimonials information uh, to it. There are administrators that if that's not your message, it will not get on there. It's not a place to ask the questions like, hey, ordered my glow. It's not here yet. You know, that kind of thing. Um, it is for. Uh, us to post those things and then for you all of us to invite prospects who are curious want to know more um, it is invitation only um, that you're responsible uh, for inviting those people into that so you have to be a member yourself and then the administrator of that 
will uh, let them in or not. <laughs> of course, if they're a guest and you want them in, they're going to get in. But it's for them to hear all of our stories um, from time to time and just do their own navigation, education, research, hear stories, and so forth. So it's a tool. Thank you, Beth. Uh, she said that she's been inviting her prospects. And um, it's, again, you guys, it's a base <clears throat> hit. There's no one one tactic that that is going to work. We, we use multiple tools, multiple ways that we can communicate with people. So health, hope, and lifestyle is one of those conversations. Hal mentioned um, just one of the conversations that we had with a neighbor. That's a great story. Hopefully we'll get him to, to share his own story on a call. Um, I, I drove through a pharmacy, made a, made a contact. I have uh, an appointment with, with that person. It was a former respiratory therapist. We were sitting in a ballroom dance competition for five hours yesterday during the Arkansas yeah. game. I thought how was going to kill me. No, I wasn't. I was watching the game on my phone. <laughs> and I sat next to a darling gal from uh, Fort Smith that we were able to have a, a great conversation because it was a, a much longer event. So those are just examples of base hits, guys, conversations with real people, uh, learning to find who's looking for solutions. Uh, she was actually somebody that owned her own business and she was in the nursing home industry. And I asked her, you know, what do you know about CBD? What do you know about the endocannabinoid system? Her mom was a pharmacy tech. Those are the kind of conversations that we look What'd she to know have. about it? Nothing. 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 <laughs> I mean, like. These like, are intelligent, very successful people who know nothing about the endocannabinoid system, who know very, very, very little about the realities, um, positives. Uh, and negatives of CBD. And there are negatives of CBD because some of it, so much of it is trash. Um, but anyway, they knew nothing. So. Also shout out to my husband who was able to get a prospect that works at a nutrition store um, to call us and have an interest in our product. And we setting up a Zoom call with them on Tuesday. So we love Zoom guys, base hits. Zoom's easy because we don't have to go anywhere and it's, it's, it's very cheap to use it or free. So our goal is to move as many people as we can across a pipeline. And every time we make a conversation, every time we do our job, it's a base hit. And so instead of trying to like swing from the fence and, and get those home runs, guys, it's just this consistency of base hits. Nobody does that better than Steve and Jenny Todd. Um, just the consistency with which they do this business. Ed, did you have something you wanted to say? Wow. You read my mind. <laughs> hey, yes. On the uh, on the little everything you guys said was just so much like what had happened to me in the last couple of weeks. And I'm not going to get in the details because everything hasn't happened yet. But it's very important, I think, to always be just looking and listening. And like Hal said, not just give them the whole enchilada, but just draw a little breadcrumbs. And then the, I played baseball 17 years. So I like the analogy. Three strikes are out. So maybe the first strike you're not. So a couple of weeks ago, I was picking up the RV and I was at the Outback sitting at the bar and uh, the guy came in, bes sat beside me ordering a, a to-go thing for him and his wife. And he was chatting with some other people. And uh, I just said, hey, you know, um, what do you do? And he said, well, I'm one of the blah, blah, blah of a particular um, fitness thing. So he was starting up five fitness franchises. So he invited me to do a vendor night at one of his franchises. So I, I called and left four or five for four or five weeks, left phone numbers and, you know, never called back. So I decided last uh, couple of days ago, I was just going to drive up there and go knock on the door. So I did, went in. He wasn't there, but his uh, assistant was there who knew about the conversation, invited me to come up anytime I wanted to do the vendor thing. And I said, okay, well, how many people do I would expect to show up? And I'm thinking, you know, 50 or 60, 900 to a thousand every week. So wow. I've got that door open from that little seed that was planted and just following through and not giving up because the dude never called me back. So I just drove to, you know, drove 120 miles and knocked on the door and uh, it worked out. That's what we're talking about is persistence at Keller. <laughs> and, and honestly, bottom line, and then we're going to just, you know, let you guys, if you have questions or comments, I want to say persistent base hits is what creates momentum in this business. And um, we, um, in summary, Beth Plumley, I was talking to one of your customers today in my neighborhood 
And uh, she was telling me how much she liked Glow and she's never come to an event. She always says she just doesn't like to commit. And so I told her to close her eyes and I go, I want you to think about Glow and just the results you've had. And now I want you to visualize that you shared it with a few people who shared it with a few people. Now you got 5,000 people on Glow because that's kind of the story of me and how. And over four years that we've just shared it with a few people, we've done some base hits, who've shared it with a few people, who've done some base hits, that every once in a while you find uh, the Angela Nobles, the Connie Greases, the Beths. I mean, all of you guys are those one in a million people who have taken it upon yourself to do more than is comfortable with this business model. And she, when, she, when, when I, I walked away, I said, okay, she goes, okay, I think I need to listen to more. She goes, I, I, I like the sound of that. And I really like the thought of freedom because that's ultimately what we're able to create with this. Mm-hmm. So um, I just appreciate the consistency with which you guys show up. Connie Lytle, thank you for being our, our guest on the call tonight. This is the point where we stop recording and 